I was sent this battery monitor and asked you my opinion on it, make this short video. So here goes. This is a device that you want to put onto your battery to keep track of how it's charging and if it's, um, you know, being efficient as far as maintaining energy in the battery. It does things like tracks the temperature, history, all kinds of stuff. And it connects to your phone with a Bluetooth app, and that's where you see all these readings. The device itself, it's just this simple, uh, very small, it's like big as a deck of cards, uh, little device, and it's got just a red and a black. And I'm just going to connect this onto my battery. It doesn't have any switches or lights or anything on it. And then that's going to connect to my phone with Bluetooth, and I'm going to be able to see all kinds of data. So let's get this hooked up and see how it works. All right, so we got everything installed here. Just simple two wires. Got the black going to the negative and the red going to the positive. I'll probably get some double-sided tape to hold this down on top of the battery so it doesn't bang around. But that's it, it's installed. Let's shut the hood and connect it to the Bluetooth app and see how it does. Now that we've got the battery hooked up, just gonna use this QR code on the front of the box and gonna kind of load the app into my phone here. And here's the app that'll come up, the uh, Ancel BM, I guess that's for Battery Monitor 300 Pro. Go ahead and get that installed. And now with that installed, go ahead and add device. And look, it picked it up immediately. And it looks like it's gonna want us to install the serial number, so I'm gonna to have to go look under the hood again. All right, so I got all that entered. And this is in a vehicle, 12 volt. We'll go ahead and hit next. And this is an AGM battery. And so now we have added that battery. And let's get connected. There we go. Um, looks like we've got 12 volts. It says it's at a low charge, 51%. Not sure what that means there. Um, 10, 24 degrees Celsius. Let's see if we can change that over to Fahrenheit. Yeah, we can do that here. The miles, Fahrenheit, miles per gallon. All right, all that good stuff. And go back to the battery here. Yep, about 75 degrees out. So curious to know why that's 51%. But mainly I'm not concerned about what the voltage is. I do have a solar battery charger on this battery and maybe it's detecting that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the truck and see what that changes to when the alternator is charging this battery. So we'll go ahead and start this truck up, see what the app says. So that battery's got plenty of charge. All right, so we got the truck running here and see the voltage jumped up to 14, which is about normal for the alternator to be putting that 14 to keep the battery charged. It's got this SOC here at 52% now and shows it's charging. And uh, it's got a little bit of a history here of the voltage just in the past you know, few minutes. It's starting to track a trend here. Uh, let's do this charging test. See what we get. Start testing. Idle speed, the vehicle keeps idling. Turn on all electrical equipment like your headlights and then hit test. So we'll go ahead and turn the headlights on and hit test. A little countdown. All right, turn off all the electrical equipment. And then they want it revved up to about 2500 RPM and then hit test. Let's try that. And now we're gonna do a third test here. Keep the vehicle idling, turn off the electrical equipment, hit test. All right, so here's our results. Got a good charging voltage, it's in range. Got a good high speed charging voltage also in range. 
And then this diode ripple voltage is uh, also in a normal range. So testing system on this truck, working pretty good. So there you go. You can see you got a lot of features with this app. It's very cool. Uh, I just like how it keeps the history as well. And whenever you get near the vehicle, it's going to start capturing data from it. And the little device doesn't draw much power at all. So it's not going to drain your battery out in, in an adverse way. Hey, I hope this video was helpful. Learn a little bit more about this battery monitoring system. I hope this information was useful to you. And as always, hope you have a great day.